1977, the world-renowned Massachusetts General Hospital founded the MGH Institute of Health Professions to not only prepare competent practitioners, but also to prepare them to be the healthcare leaders of tomorrow. Our founders envisioned a unique graduate school that would offer students unparalleled opportunities to learn from expert practitioners in a variety of healthcare disciplines and settings. We recently had the honor to speak with some of the Institute's early leaders about their experiences and asked them to reflect on the Institute's place in healthcare today. The Institute uh, went through a lot of ups and downs over the first 10 years, trying to find our way, trying to find our identity. When I started in as president, there were only 70 students. They grew into a small graduate school during that period. And I think that the growth of the Institute really was in parallel to the coming of age or the growing of, the, of partners. One of the first things that um, uh, took our energy and time is to develop a whole new curriculum, a new program in nursing. In the meantime, the other programs were uh, growing and expanding, and healthcare reform kind of exploded um, in Boston and everywhere else, and we were in the middle of that at the Institute. The students were precocious, bright, they tended to be older, they tended to come from all different disciplines. They put enormous time into developing new strategies, new curricula, new ways of thinking. They, they were unique students, and I think the students were the strength of the institution. When I look at the impact that the Institute has had on the culture of healthcare in our country today, I think, first and foremost, I think about the emphasis from day one on interdisciplinary education. The Institute was founded as an interdisciplinary school, breaking down the barriers among health professionals and creating, creating an environment where they work together as peers. And that was quite a revolutionary notion. The Institute was in uh, borrowed, rented space for the first 20 years of its existence. When we moved to the Charlestown Navy Yard, it was the dream of many of our predecessors. The symbolic importance was it meant that the Institute had permanence. When you go over to the Navy Yard now, you can see it's an ideal location for the Institute. It's an extremely vibrant, um, very high-level academic uh, community over there. The next 10 to 20 years, as I looked forward at that time, seemed to me a time for great potential for this school because it was such a unique school. There could be a time of great growth and expansion uh, ahead of us, and I think that has happened as I look now at the Institute, it's grown a lot. I am flabbergasted at the size of the Institute today, and I'm also flabbergasted at, it, at its magnificent quality. Sometimes you just grow in size, but I think it's grown both in quality and size. I don't think I'm surprised at all by where the Institute is today, and I just continue to be very proud of what it is. I hope it retains its kind of nimble, creative, innovative view of its role in um, preparing people for the health professions. I'm honored to serve as the Institute's current president and grateful to work with a visionary leadership team so together we can build on the foundation we've inherited from our predecessors.